What's up, this is Marcus, and this is a hammer. It's hammer time, so I'm gonna be using the tripod hammers and the sledgehammer, and I'll break down each one, and then I'll go through a circuit so I can show you. All right, so the first move we're gonna do, we're gonna be using the bigger sledgehammer, but what we're gonna be doing is a combined squat clean right into a two-hand press, and then we're gonna switch hands each position. So we'll start off, right hand on top, left hand underneath, I'm gonna clean it up, I'm gonna squat so it's gonna face more to one side. As I come up, I'm gonna press, bring it right back down, switch hands, bring it to the other side, and then press. Oh, so this is a fun combination with some pulling, some squatting, some pressing, a lot of core tension, a lot of work here. Oh. All right, so that's number one. Number two. We're gonna be using two hammers, ideally if you have two. We're gonna be a little bit lighter. We're gonna do double outside the leg swing. So we're gonna get those dumbbells or the hammers to the side. I'm gonna start out in front. Now be narrow enough that you have enough clearance on the side, but not so narrow where you're touching or you lose uh, that stability. So once we get in here, we're gonna go right into swings. So this is assuming you have some good kettlebell swing form. You're accessing that hinge. You're standing up tall. Stand nice and tall. That's the main thing here, driving through the ground. But this is gonna challenge the hell out of your grip. Oh. Oh. That's good. So on that distance, when I bring it up, I don't need to be locked out, but I wanna be relatively straight. If the hammers are a little bit heavier, you might want to come in and have a little bit more of a bent elbow as long as you straighten that elbow on the way down. So I don't want you to have a flexed elbow as you're hinging. Last one. Come on over, cameraman. We're going to be using the sledgehammer. So when I was talking with everyone at Tribwad, I was like, I don't have a, I don't have a tire. What do I do? It's like, that's the beauty of this thing. It's got a rubber coating, so I can hit almost anything. So we're just gonna hit the ground here. All right, ready. And, oh man. If you've ever done any kind of sledge work, you know how much you have to engage, keep everything nice and tight, in order to keep everything safe. But if you do have a, a tire, I got a little makeshift tire here. Got a slam ball on top of it. But if you have a tractor tire, that works too. Or even concrete. Or even the house. So, all right. I'll have the full description on how to do this workout. But let's go through it again, shall we? First one is going to be that two hand clean to squat press. So whatever side is on top, that's the side you come to with the hammer. So make sure when you pull that weight up, keep it close to your body, keep it similar to a clean where you're not just curling the weight up. And then as you squat down, engage your core, engage your back, and then press. Try to keep your glutes as tight as possible to keep yourself nice and stable. Next up is the outside the leg swing. So just make sure your swing form is on point. So you're accessing that hinge, you're driving your hips back, shoulders above your hips, keep your abs nice and engaged. And then you're driving your feet through the ground as opposed to just driving your hips forward and getting into lower back or too much extension. So as you let those weights swing, actively pull them down, hinge, repeat. Last up is the sledge. So what's gonna be different here if you are gonna be hitting the ground is you wanna make sure you bend the knees and get down a little bit lower to the ground. So if you come at the ground with an angle on the hammer, it's going to jar you a little bit more than it already is. So get down a little bit lower, brace, engage, and slam the ever-loving crap out of the ground. Let some anger out. That's a, this is a great way to do it. So give that a go. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, you can find all this super fun equipment at Tribewad. I 
love unique fitness equipment. It just it brightens my, literally brightens my day because it's so fun to play around with different tools. That's why I'm a huge advocate of adding variety into my training. So I still focus on the, the uh, principles of progressive overload. I focus on the basics in training, but then you get this kind of leeway where you can have some fun with your training. You can do things like hammers and sledges and kettlebells and maces and all this kind of fun stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed and I'll catch you on the next one.